What's up everybody, I'm Lockouts, and in this video, we're just gonna do a real quick crash course on how I have bartender set up so that you can get your bars for your UI to look like mine. Check this out. Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts, providing the content that you see. I'm bitching to stimulate in your mind, one minute at a time. All right, guys, real quick, jumping over here into the add-on. The very first thing that I do when I when I load into Bartender here is this is what it's going to look like when you have Bartender. You're going to get it from the Twitch uh, app. And after you download it and you install it and you come into World of Warcraft, uh, you'll load it up. It'll be all locked and all this stuff. And you'll have uh, your standard UI that's from World of Warcraft, how they normally have it. So um, the first button right here is the lock button. That's going to unlock all the frames and or disable or unlock them so that you can move them around um when you have them unlocked you have bar snapping right here so whenever you do get close to a bar it will snap into position as you see right here you turn that off and you can just freely move the bar around wherever you want you don't have to have the bar snapping lined up so if you're trying to position something just correct and it's not actually lining up with the bar snapping you can have it uh, done this way and it will prevent the bars from snapping around uh, the next thing that I like to do is to disable the Blizzard uh, default um, art bar, and that's the one that's got the little eagles and stuff like that that's on it. I go ahead and disable that. Uh, the next thing that I do is resize and uh, move my zone ability bar and my extra action bar. I move them right to over here, and I stack them two right on top of each other because they're the same size. And then for the vehicle bar, uh, that's this one right here. I have its scale set to 1.7 and then I move it right next to where the extra ability bar and the zone ability bar is and I move it off to the side. So in case both of these are popped up at the same time, one is off to the side and I can still exit a vehicle or whatever it is that I need to do. All right, and the very next thing is for status tracking. So if you're leveling or if you're trying to track, you know, Azerite or PVP or Conquest or Honor or whatever it is, it'll pop up right here. And that's this bar that's right here. And I always have that one that's at the very top of my uh, uh, monitor and it sits right in the middle. That way it's out of the way for all my uh, action bars and abilities that are down here. Now for the very first bar, I have this one that's enabled. I have the scale set to 1.2 so that the very first bar for my main action abilities is just a little bit bigger than the other bars. I have its row set to one. I do have the um, zoom checkbox uh, toggled. And what this one does is it just makes the spells and abilities get larger that's on the actual um, icon there. So the icon is a little bit bigger and pronounced. And as you can see right there, as I'm clicking the button, it gets bigger and smaller. And then I have it set to a 12 button. So if you would set this to 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, if you just want one button on the row, however many you want. And then you can set for however many rows you want it. So if you wanted it just to be a square box, you could set it to like, you know, two rows and then you could have it four buttons. And then you would end up with just a little square box that it would look like this. And if you wanted three rows and, and, and six buttons, it would look like like so, there's five, there's six buttons, and then you would fill up your bars like this. So if you wanted four rows, you know, it would just continue to go on and this would be vertical. I have mine set to one row and then all 12 buttons. That way I have them all enabled. And then I put it right down to the very middle, uh, bottom of my screen in the middle. All right, for uh, bars three and four, that's the bars that's over here that's on my very right side of my screen. I have these ones set to enabled and just regular 12 rows. Now, this is where you have a vertical placement versus a horizontal placement. You want it to be a vertical placement. You just turn it from one. One row will be left to right, horizontal, and then 12 rows uh, is straight up and down vertical. And on the visibility tab, this is where you can have it fade in or fade out. So basically you can have it fade out whenever you're not in combat or if you're just not hovered over it, you just click this button right here for the fade out. And then I have the hide in combat bar, the box that's checked right here. So whenever I'm in combat, I, none of these bars are accessible to me and I can't see them. They, they don't catch my eye. It's not nothing that I wanna look at anyways. Uh, for state configuration, I don't mess with anything like this. And for positioning, I just have the anchor points that's set to the right. And then you could center horizontally or vertically with this tab that's over here. Uh, as far as the micro menu, I have this one set to 0.8 and then padding is set to minus two. Also guys, it's all in your bars, bars one through 10. Make sure that your padding is set to zero. That way you don't have any space. It's in between all of your spells and the icons. It'll make it be nice and pushed together and you'll have a nice clean flushed look with the, with the padding. If you turn the padding on, you can see here that it is the spacing that's in between each one of the spells and the icons. And as you want to, uh, 
get it larger or smaller make the number larger or smaller they will start to overlap each other or whatnot and i have this set to zero for the micro menu i have it set to minus two because the icons are so small it pushes them right together and then i move it right down here as far as the bag bar goes guys this is where you can enable and disable for your bags uh to have one bag or you know show all bags right here as you can see i always have it set to one bag and i always put it right down here in the very corner because anytime that you push the b button or shift the b how i have mine set up so that you can accidentally hit the b button while you're in combat and it'll pop up your bags and you're like oh i didn't want them to pop up so i have mine disabled or turned uh my modifier is set to shift b to open all my bags up at once and if you have it set to all bags it'll look like this one bag it looks just like this and for padding i have this one set it doesn't really matter because it's one one bag and the scale is just set to one and then i go and tuck it right down here in the very bottom right hand of my screen all right guys and the button lock button this is so uh, even if you have the buttons locked for your spells and icons you can still hold the shift button and grab the spell and pull it off of your bar so be wary of that so if you're using shift modifiers you could still you know grab the spell and, and pull it off of your off of your bars but you shouldn't be clicking your spells anyways it should all be bound and using key bindings is what that pushes us right into with this and instead of having to go through the standard uh, world of warcraft or blizzard ui and have to rebind each key and find what bar it's on or whatnot you can just grab each bar and position them right here and then turn on your key bindings tab right here and as you mouse over whatever it is say the f1 button that i have right here if you push escape it will clear that key bind and then let's say the f1 button that i have that's bound on my mouse right here i just push it when i'm moused over that spell and it will bind f1 that's the f1 button that's bound on my mouse so you have to bind the spells individually that's on your mouse so if you have like a 12 button mouse and it has regular standard key button uh, uh binds that's on it you could probably bind them individually to each one of these buttons and you don't have to use f1 or f2 or control or or, or any of the uh other f1 keys that are at the top of your keyboard those are just keys that i never ever use so i bind my spells to the f1 through f12 uh, keys actually it's only f1 through f6 and then i use shift modifiers for f1 through f6 um and then all those keys are then bound to my mouse so i have f1 f2 f3 here f4 and f5 f6 is right here and then with a shift it turns all them buttons into shift f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 and then i essentially have instead of just the six buttons that are on my mouse 12 so it doubles them and then if you use alt as a, as a uh, modifier for another bind it will double them again so that you have 18 binds instead of only six so it'd be six times three so you have shift control and alt that you can use as modifier so if you're binding spells to your mouse go and open up your mouse program bind your spells appropriately then all you got to do is mouse over whatever the icon that you have that's set there hit the escape key to clear it and then whatever the button that's on your mouse go ahead and push it and then i have one through five enabled on my main bar and then six seven eight nine the zero the minus and the plus key those are all unbound and disabled and rebound to f q e c shift c t and z so again this is going to be how you guys set up your own key binds remember that you're going to be operating your character with one hand and everything needs to be within one reach um, trying to uh, hold the w key move your your character forward and then spread all the way over to the six key is a very large spread so either you have a very big hand or you have a very small keyboard but most standard keyboards it's a very large spread so unbinding the six seven eight nine and minus and zero keys will help you and then rebinding them to everything that's around the w a s and d buttons using shift alt and control for modifiers and then binding them with your mouse and everything like that will instantly help you and using bartender to clean up your ui and move everything down at the bottom of your screen so that you get that real nice clean ui will help you in pve or pvp all right guys and then just finishing this up here so if you do have macros and text and all that stuff that's on your icons and you don't want to see even the spells or the numbers you can go ahead and hide the hotkeys you can hide the macro text you can hide the equipped borders that are on spells and whatever it is that's on there you can make and hide you can also make them click through so that you can't even click them with your mouse you are forced to then use the key bind so that you don't go down there so if you are a clicker by default and it's something that you're trying to get out of the habit of and you want to use bartender to rebind your spells so that you get used to doing this making everything click through on each one of your bars will force you 
to have to push that button instead of taking your mouse and go click it because you'll go down there and click it with your mouse and you'll be like instantly oh damn i can't click that spell so you'll know to want to react to pushing the button so hopefully this helps you guys if you guys learned anything from this if this helped you out at all with this one little add-on make sure that you follow all of my channel uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you see all of my videos that i drop i do this multiple times a week we do this for all add-ons all different guides world of warcraft apex call of duty different game fixes hot fixes pc product reviews we do a little bit of everything i'm lockouts baby like follow subscribe peace Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts, providing the content, don't you see? I'm visually stimulating your mind, one minute at a time.